It was Christmas on the island of Sodor. All the engines were working hard. Thomas and Toby were busy carrying people and parcels up and down the branch lines. Everyone was happy. Only the coaches, Annie and Clarabelle, were complaining. They groaned, said Thomas. By the side of the track was a little cottage with a familiar figure waving to them, whistled Thomas. Thomas always felt better for seeing her. When work was over, Thomas went to see the other engines. All their coats had been polished, said Gordon, replied Thomas. Interrupted Edward. Percy joined in, said James and Henry together, said Thomas. Everyone was getting very excited, and the drivers felt sure that Sir Topham had would agree, as indeed he did. The engines were all busy making plans when silence fell. Sir Topham had had bad news. Thomas hated snow, but he said bravely. Thomas charged the snow drifts fiercely. Sometimes he swept them aside, sometimes they stuck fast and the men had to loosen them. But at the cutting near the cottage, they can go no further, exclaimed Thomas's fireman. Whistled Thomas, an answering wave came from an upstairs window. Then they heard a familiar sound, said Thomas. Sure enough, Terence had a snowplow and was working hard to clear the path to the railway line and safety. At long last, the rescue was complete. Percy took the tired workman home. Terence said goodbye to Mrs. Kindly and promised to take care of her cottage as he watched them all set off. The engines made good time. No more snow had fallen, but the yard was dark. Thomas's heart sank. Suddenly, all the lights went on. What a marvelous sight awaited Mrs. Kindly, said Sir Topham Hat. Mrs. Kindly especially thanked the smaller engines, she said. Percy was very pleased. He called. They all whistled. Thomas the Tank Engine and his friends thought it was the best Christmas ever, and Mrs. Kindly could think of nowhere she would rather live than here with them on the island of Sodor.